Hey, why am I sending you this video right now? Because I had a conversation and it is episode one and two of my podcast, Listen For Real this week. And I had a conversation with Jess Michaels. She is a Jeffrey Epstein survivor. And she is, in my opinion, not just an advocate, but she is a revolutionary. She is creating a movement that is of the magnitude of Me Too. And it is about normalizing the conversation around sexual assault and rape and preparedness for sexual assault and rape. And so a lot of people immediately go, oh my God, that's, that's, that's too much. That's too much. It's a little bit of that human psyche um, struggle that we have when it comes to making our will or our settling our estate and putting together a living trust or buying life insurance. Somehow that just gets a little too close to home and makes the reality of our mortality a little bit too real. And so I think that people when having a conversation around sexual assault or being prepared for it, whether it's for our daughters, our sisters, our mothers, or ourselves, that's too close to home. But I want to say this, Jess talks about her experience in Sandy Hook. And after the Newtown shooting, it became a normalized thing to discuss and prepare for active shooters. So we have active shooter drills in almost every school in our nation. That after 9-11, it became normalized to have TSA preach TSA and all of the various things that we do um, in airports everywhere in the world to prevent the possibility of a terrorist getting in on a plane that we all know and have been taught to be prepared for. If there was a fire, what are you going to do? You're going to stop, drop and roll, or you're going to get away from the smoke. We've all been taught that yet it is statistically shown and don't shoot the messenger here, but it is statistically proven that it is more likely that a woman or girl will be sexually assaulted in the United States than all three of those ever happening. You are more likely, we are more likely to be sexually assaulted than to ever be in an active shooter scenario, to ever be in a burning building, or to ever be on the plane with a terrorist. That is what Jess brought to light. And I know this is ugly to talk about, but if we don't out these ugly words and start taking them back, nothing changes. No one's coming to save us, as she put it. So by talking about these things, having these difficult conversations, we are normalizing and therefore preparing and empowering ourselves. And we will decrease the chance of sexual assaults occurring. That will happen as a byproduct. So the very thing we fear talking about is the very thing that will decrease the likelihood of these things happening and Jess explains why, and it empowers us. It empowers our daughters, it empowers our sisters. So y'all, please, if it is not a triggering topic for you, I do issue a trigger warning at the beginning of both episodes. If it is not a triggering to topic for you, and if you ever listen to any one of my podcasts, make it this one. Will you please do that? And will you share it widely so that other people, not just women and girls, although the 91%, that's who the typical survivors of sexual assault are, but boy, it happens across the gender spectrum. So let's not forget that. But please listen in, listen deeply, and let your echo chamber be blown up a little bit and how you have looked at this perhaps in the past. I appreciate you more than you can imagine. And I really appreciate Jess and her willingness to vulnerably come on the podcast and talk. Talk to you soon.